Cancer, welcome to your Astro Flower reading for the month of March. Magical March, as we're calling it, uh, after funny February. And boy, has it been a funny old February. Woo! Um, yes, now we're moving into Magical March. And loads of things are going to be synchronizing or uh, together, as it were. And that's going to change the logic and the interaction we have or the outside world has with us as individuals. And there's going to be some people who have got it and their consciousness is in line with it. And there's others that are just don't get it at all. And they are going to seem very illogical. So I would be wary about what you put in and what you invest in at the beginning in March uh, or through March uh, until we get to April. And then it's going to be a lot surer for you of how to put invest in things. <coughs> That's going to tie up nicely to your rhythm in life and that will bring you into your autumn beautifully. Today we're going to be going through your chakras, your aura, and then finishing off with a tarot reading at the end. Um, so it will be time stamped uh, in the description below, but it is like a story. And one thing does influence the other. As much as the outside influences you, I would suggest that you watch it all the way from now, all the way to the end. But you can jump and choose around as you like. So... Let's start with your chakras and see what's going on. Okay, we're into your root chakra. Okay, so um, very interesting. The, the base, the very base of your root chakra is really implanted. It's almost as if like that, that um, crab has got its feet really hooked in. And the top section is being out, is it hooked into the rocks, and the top section is being allowed to move around with the waves. It's uh, the foundation here of your root chakra is sort of saying, um, yeah, I've got my anchor points. That could be a good thing and a bad thing. Um, it depends what's going on in your life. Do you need it? You know, is there some form of movement that has to happen within your life? If that's the case, then, uh, you know, you may have to change how you hold on to your roots, as it were. But at the moment, your root, it actually widens in the lower section, which is really grounded in Earth. And you're like Capricorn, the opposite sign to you. Now, Capricorn is a Earth sign, but it has water at its base. That's why it's half goat, half fish. Um, and uh, it's actually got more water than, in Capricorn than there is Earth. And that's the same thing for you, Cancer. Cancer is a crab, so it spends half its time on land, half its time in the water. So it, you've, got a, you've got a water sign, but you have Earth at your base. And actually, if you look at your astro flower, you have more Earth than you do water. You, you're a false element sign, like Capricorn, like Sagittarius, and like Gemini. Um, so... Um, I can understand this root thing, and this root is probably within you of, I don't want to change this. I want it to be like this. Um, and holding on to your inner truth, which could be a really good thing and a really bad thing. It depends on what you're living. You know yourself. You know you will not lie to yourself. And if you do, then you probably will be causing problems to yourself. Be honest with yourself. And it will be a lot easier for you to sort of enhance that connection you do have with your anchors, uh, which anchor you in life. Let's just have a look at your sacrum and see what's going on there. Sorry about this. I just have to make sure it's recording. Apologise. Get back into that. Okay, your sacrum. It's lovely balance. There is a beautiful, harmonious balance between work and play. And I'm not sure you've actually really felt this way in the past. That things seem to be a lot more serious in a way. That you seem to appear to have um, a lot more control over the situation. Almost more control over yourself. This could be because of the way your root chakra is tied up. But also, it's, it, within this sacrum, you've got a good work play ethic. For the first time, possibly for a very, very long time, um, there seems to be a very productive life coming on uh, in within the workspace. But there also seems to be a very honest and fruitful emotional side and playing side and uh, enjoyment of life as well. 
So that's really nicely imbalanced. Uh, it is also does tie into what's happening in the collective, which I did in the collective reading, which will be linked at the end of this uh, reading as well. And I would advise you to go and have a look at that. Uh, let's have a look. We'll see what's going on in your your solar plexus uh, now. Uh, so here's your solar plexus. It's OK, so we had this fusing between the heart and the uh, solar plexus. There is changes again within the chakras of the collective. Um, that's what I went to in the uh, in the overall reading. Um, and it's almost as if the heart and the solar plexus has almost completed their inversion. Uh, and then it's inverting other chakras. But here with you on a personal level, you've got your passions or your determination and your confidence in life which is driving you towards your heart's desires um and your and your heart energy of of um of love of in in a sense of of loving your place loving the enjoyment of life loving helping other people and so forth um as so it's driving towards the heart really and it's feeding the heart a lot of warmth and uh uh, you know, uh, yeah, a lot of warmth within the emotions of your heart. I'm just trying to see what's going on. There's potential in in the beginning and the end and not in the middle. Okay, so it seems to be like another wave of, is coming through you. At the moment, I would have thought within the third week, something like that of March, it's going to be, um, that's when that potential is going to be ignited within your passions. It's not quite ready yet. Uh, Capricorn is your opposite. Just to give you an example, Capricorn is really heavily charged within its potential. Um, just needs a spark and it's off. For yourself, there's still a little bit of movement, a little bit of creation. Therefore, there's a little that I can understand the root chakra being really fixed in here because you need to you know, crystallize your position uh, in life in order to give your passion a direction uh, and that's there's still things to sort out on that side um, and that's why the top of the root chakra was a little bit sort of springy um, which gives you nice movement and stuff like that but there is things to just it be put in place and then you can ignite that passion when you do it's going to draw more passion through you and that second phase, I would have thought we'd see at the beginning of April. We may see it at the end of March, but I would have thought we'd see it at the beginning of April. Let's just see what's going on on your um, heart chakra. Yeah, this is, there was another sign that had this. And, I, you know, uh, it's, um, a, you know, like those landmarks that you put on... Um, on Google Maps, it's like a bubble with a point at the end. And if you like, that point is that part that's coming out of your heart chakra like that. And it's coming out as a progressive thing. So it's almost as if like uh, it's leading you um, down uh, a path which is going to concentrate your heart into one direction. Um, and this is possibly ties into the things that you need to put into place within your foundation, within your root, in order for, to give that heart that real point. It's, um, you know, a heart can be really, really sharp and it's driving towards that one point which is going to give you um, um, real direction and sense of purpose and a sense of, I've made it, in, in the sense of the heart. I feel at one with my life. I think this is what comes out in April. But you're going to feel it building up all the way through March. There was one other sign, and I'd like to say this, uh, that had exactly the same sort of thing. Although theirs was much more defined. With you, it's 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 still defining. It's not quite there. And I think that's where the thing comes out. And that was, that other sign was Gemini. Now, Gemini is right next to you. Um, so it could have something where you've got a lot of Gemini coming into you in the astro flower in the regards of uh, influential sort of elements uh, within you. And this is what could be building you up at the moment. And it's Gemini is all about the process of doing things. And this is what you could be on your plate at the moment. 
working out the process to get to your heart's desires. But it's definitely on your radar and it's opening up huge possibilities and it's up to you to take them uh, in the going future. Let's just see what's going on in your throat and your third eye. Now, because we've got the harmony in your sacrum, I was expecting it and it seems to run true. The third eye and the throat chakra are very well positioned. Therefore, you're going to have a very logical aspect to you, uh, also to your emotions. Uh, it's also going to make your communication very logical. Um, it's going to be easy to communicate with people without having to go off the rails too much, <laughs> even with them or with you. Um, so uh, that's where that logical thing about the interconnection with life outside will become even more and more important. Um, and other people may seem completely illogical because they haven't engaged their consciousness in this change that's going on. And that's going to drive you even more in that direction of that pointed heart. And you're going to be able to do a lot of sort of seeing situations and kind of going, oh, yeah, no, don't worry, I'm not going to bother doing that anymore. It's not actually, it's, there's no gain for anybody out of this situation, including me. That's the sort of logic. It's going to be very clear cut and straightforward for you. And I would follow that. I would allow that intuition to be part of you um, and part of your everyday life because it's going to simplify a lot of things. Let's move on to your, <clears throat> let's just move on to your crown chakra. There is a slight shape to it because there's things still, um, the foundation thing, there is still things to put into place within you um, about what you want, how you want it, you know, uh, when you want it and everything like that in life. Um, but, the, but the crown chakra is really becoming a lot more sort of straight. It's got a little bit of curve on it at the top, um, but it's, it's a curve in a way that it's, if you imagine it's like that, it's a curve like that rather than going outwards. It's more sort of a curve like that. So there is a slight curve on it, but it's really at the top. Um, and this is fine detail. So it's working on the little things, getting the little things done. And once you get those little things done, the big things are really going to fall into place. Um, so yeah, um, your consciousness, there is just a few things that you need to listen to yourself and be honest with yourself about the direction you're taking. Once you do that, I think it's going to be really hunky-dory for you. I think you're turning a corner here. And I think most people are, actually, who have engaged their consciousness, regardless of the sign. Um, but there seems to be a real corner being made here for you, a real, uh, a real, real change a steady progressive change of direction let's just have a look what's going on in your aura so here we have um your aura and well there seems to be two things that are coming in one after the other oh okay there's it's putting things into place so um you seem to have something pretty much every week uh there's almost like every week it's kind of going oh right that no okay right put that into place next week Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah, that as well. No, no, no. And it's it's not going to be frustrating kind of going, uh, unless you done, haven't done the work. If you haven't done the work over the past sort of six months and you've been, you know, through my readings, that's exactly what we've been talking about. If you've got into the rhythm of your life, it's going to be really enjoyable, these moments of, aha, uh -huh, right, okay, this is how that works. Okay, great, that means that's going to help me here and then there. If you're not consciously involved, if you're not really consciously looking at your life you're going to find these moments you might find these moments as moments of frustration of kind of going oh i'm progressing down my, oh blimey what's that okay i'll have to deal with that actually it's it's a blessing in disguise in a way it's going to stop you running off in directions that are causing you problems um let's just see what the overall flow of your energy is there's a definite flow towards your route get things sorted basically um, this could have to be with where you live, this could be to do with your job, this could be to do with how you have your relationships, but it's very fu fu uh, fundamental within you, basically, and it, the energy is feeding that at the moment, generally, okay? Uh, so that's quite a good thing. Um, just seeing if there's anything untoward on your aura. No, that doesn't seem to be anything like that. So I would encourage that sort of root chakra sort of connection that you might have 
um, on those fundamentals. And I would take time out on a daily basis just to have a quick check. Five minutes, 10 minutes, just a seat somewhere, just to check your route and check how you're sort of, um, uh, you know, putting that foundation in place so you can build an, an amazing future. Um, I would take that out and just imagine it's just like almost as if like your crown chakra is just feeding the rest of your aura, basically. It's a really good thing for you. Uh, the more you do that, the more you're going to help yourself, the quicker it's going to be, the more time you will actually have or spare space and time you will have in your life. OK, let's uh, just go on to the reading now, the chakra reading. So chakra reading, the uh, tarot reading. Uh, this is your overall energy. These are your karmic paths for your relationship and your business side. This is week one, week two, week, week three and the outcome of week four. OK, uh, so let's just get straight in. This is a monthly reading for cancer. Let's just see what's going on there. What's the overall energy for you coming up? Three of swords. Is this heartache? I'd like to call it, you know, clarify that afterwards. We'll clarify that afterwards. I think it's more of a case here. Is the overall energy encouraging you to separate from someone? It may well be the case for you. I don't think it's the case for everybody. But I think it's also, I think it is for everybody here uh, in Cancer. It's just a case of sort of saying, don't get em too emotionally involved. As I said earlier on, trust that logic of kind of going, okay, I'm not going to do that anymore because that doesn't really help me, doesn't help you, doesn't help anybody. So I'm not going to stop that. So you don't get emotionally involved sort of saying, no, you've got to do it like this. Oh, dear. You know, that's, I think, it's teaching you to sort of stop getting yourself into situations which cause you emotional pain, basically. And that's regardless of both sides. It, it could be for your relationship side as much for your business side. I think it's a really good thing. Because it's going to give you clarity of foundation once you take out the emotions of the situation. So I would, you know, I would uh, try not to get, <clears throat> I would not allow yourself to get triggered at the moment. Okay, let's just see what's going on in your relationship side, on your karmic mission. This is what I was talking about, having control over your emotions. And this is exactly what it's talking about. Your karmic mission for this month on your relationship side is to have complete and utter control over your emotions yeah be in love but don't you know don't get um don't get triggered and don't go to extremes in this month i think this is very important for everybody but just don't allow the extremes to be dictating how you progress in your life uh more allow it to be um uh you know sort of like a guidance so you're going down your path and there's the extreme you kind of go okay in that case i'll just readjust this side or readjust that side you know uh and i think this is a really important thing i think i i, th I knew there was a card that had jumped and there it is nurturing and i'm going to put it there because i think that's what it comes out with it is nurturing your love for your life okay so it's plain sailing for you okay let's just see what's going on in your financial sort of side it's yeah the foundation of it is why you're doing things. Why um, I want this out of my life. This is my heart's desires. These are my dreams and aspirations. And this is now, there's, you know, on this side here, on this month, the karmic mission is, is realizing that if you have control over your emotions, as I said earlier on, with the harmony within the sacrum, you're going to really progress. But there is, thing, there is things to be put into place at the moment, the star is about dreaming about those um, aspirations, those dreams and those uh, desires. But um, once you sort of kick that in sort of place physically, then I wouldn't be surprised if the Hierophant doesn't come out some point on this side. Um, once you start doing that, then you're going to start realizing that actually they're not pipe dreams. They're real possibilities. And that's going to be the game changer. So let's just see what's going on in the first week within your relationship side. And we'll have fun, fun, fun till the daddy took the tea bird away. 
fun, enjoy it. I think this is the realization of what you enjoy. And this is all about nurturing your harmonious place with your emotions that are around you. Let it roll, let it roll, let it roll, Cancer. Okay, this is building up the Empress, uh, body, mind and soul, connecting everything together, making sure that you've got like, um, that you've got these, you're building on that potential that I was talking about within your solar plexus. This is encouraging it, putting things into place this week. And with the happiness on with you and your relationships um, around you, and this could be on a personal level, um, but it also is on a collective level. Once you get that into keyed into place, all of a sudden it's going to make this side as well become incredibly logical uh, of what you've got to do in order to get there. In the second week, <coughs> now the Seven of Cups has been coming up for a lot of people at the end. Um, for you here, it is recognizing that evident path. And it's the same thing with this here. It's recognizing, nurturing your emotions so you can actually turn around and sort of say, uh, you know, uh, with, within you, you must have a load of possibilities. Um, and if you sit down uh, and look at those possibilities, you're going to be able to turn around and sort of say, actually, it's evident that I should be doing that. There's no choice. And that's what the Seven of Cups is all about. It's choosing that one cup that provides all that emotions and beautiful energies that you so desire within your relationships and within your connection between you and your partner or you and your family and your friends and community. <laughs> it's falling in love with what you do. This is your material sort of side of life. And you've got the lovers. Evident path out of happiness. It is going to feed it off this side. So it's feeding across like that. You're nurturing this element. So then once you put into place that little foundation by the second week, you're going to be kind of going, I'm loving this. I'm really enjoying this. And it's, it's bringing in to um, alignment your higher and lower self bringing into alignment your root chakra and your crown chakra basically uh within your financial sort of world really really nice here really really nice let's see what's going on on the third week a new cycle that is happening and this is what i said when i was reading in your um um uh you know reading in your in your chakras uh, you know, there is this new cycle that is coming out of you within your relationship. It might well be that you have separated for someone, you nurture your emotions, so you keep that plain sailing, that consistency within you. And then all of a sudden, by the end of the third week, you're going to be ready to get back on the horse, as it were. That could well be for some of you. Um, for those of you who've already got yourself a partner, it might be sort of um, emotionally difficult because it's trying upon yourself. And if you nurture your relationship and bring it back to a centralized sort of idea of let's enjoy life, that's what the sun's all about, all of a sudden you're going to get your, your uh, existing partnership up to a stage where you're going to have a breakthrough through your partnership, uh, through you and your, you know, within your couple. Uh, let's just see what's going on on your financial side this is that realization that judgment that's coming through this is its third week um uh this realization of yes i enjoy doing this and this aspect of my work or this aspect of my job or my career path or my business i actually enjoy it and it's going to make you kind of go well then why am i not doing that a lot more I would be a little bit wary of the extremes of it all uh, because it might pull on your emotions a little bit. <coughs> but at the same time, there's no point investing huge amounts of your energy, time, money and effort into things that aren't really working. They will come back round like a boomerang. Do not worry. But it may be well be that the third week, and this is where Pluto... Well, you know, Pluto's really starting to come out of Capricorn. There's a real change in, in, in a lot of things. It's going to bring you into that logic that I was talking about as well to do with your third eye and your throat chakra. With that logic in, in your connection with the world, you're going to get it. You're going to understand it. And that's what is going to be your ascension. All of a sudden, you're going to know, oh, okay, I, it, making uh, profit in your life 
uh, regardless of whether it's a job or a, you know or a business or even just projects are going to be really yeah they're going to be really possible let's just see what's going on in your relationship on the um that sort of side that's what could be that all about that so you got the two of swords it goes back from the um three of swords it could be a case of you've actually realized that your evident path is in one direction and it may be that there's some people around you doesn't necessarily mean within your couple it could be friends or family that just are not going down the same path and i would be honest with yourself and and look at the situation honestly and this is what i was talking about you don't you know only you can really lie to yourself uh you know truly on the on the on the financial sort of side, you just yeah, you're gonna let your love ride. Now we've got here, look at that running through that. From the King of Cups, you go for the nurturing of your your emotions to protect that change and that Three of Swords, so you do not get emotionally upset about the world. And you come out with the Queen of Cups, where you're radiating that perfect calm emotions that come through you because you've nurtured it as well. Uh, it's absolutely beautiful. A little bit tricky, maybe, on the relationship side, but I don't think it's that bad. Um, but on the financial sort of side, or the material world, it's absolutely beautiful. What's the overall energies we go through all of this? To have justice and judgment in there, it's you're going to realise you were right. You were right. Any doubt that you had inside you has been... Or any doubt that was being caught, any aspersions that were caught, you know, uh, you know, thrown upon you by the outside world will fall into disarray. And you will be standing, you will be left standing kind of going, yes, I am true to myself. And you're going to love it. You're going to love it, Cancer. Thank you very much for being here. As I say, we've done the collective reading for the March, Magical March. We've also got the Energy Masterclasses, uh, which is available on our channel as well. Go and have a look at them. It talks about energy, karma. Uh, we will be doing some on chakras as well coming up in the near future. In the meantime, uh, thank you very much. If you're, all, if you're still watching now and you're not subscribed, what the is that all about? subscribe click that bell you know you're going to want to see more of these videos uh you're going to know you're going to want to see more of these readings uh and i love you being here it, without your support this channel is nothing of course uh you know we depend on your support solely because we're not getting it from yt so um you know your support is very much appreciated in the meantime cancer don't forget life should be fun so please do enjoy <laughs>